In 2014, the consumption of fish per capita has increased to 20 kilograms per year, and that's twice the consumption rate that we had in the 1960s. The reason for that growth has been the sustained production of aquaculture. In fact, we now consume more fish that is cultured than not captured in the wild. Despite that, the situation of global fish stocks is not good. About a third of all fish stocks is fished unsustainably, and that rate reaches 60% in the Mediterranean and the Black Seas. In fact, in the Mediterranean, the catches have declined by a third already since 2007 as a result of that exploitation. Even though a third of the stocks are fished unsustainably, there are examples of good practice throughout the world. Alaskan Pollock is one such example. It has overtaken anchovate to be the first and the largest caught species in 2014, partially because of the effective management measures in the Northeast Pacific. On the other hand, good practices do not always reflect into the catches. For example, in European waters, the strict management measures over the last few years have rebuilt stocks, which have resulted in the catches being lower than in previous years, but the stocks improving in condition. Of course, fish produces food for us, but also employment and trade. And trade in particular has become very significant for developing countries. Uh, the global trade of fisheries products have reached $148 billion in 2014, and there were only $8 billion of trade in the 1970s, so you can see the growth. This is particularly the case in developing countries, which have reaped in 2014 $80 billion in fisheries exports. And that is more than the exports of rice, coffee, meat and sugar put together. Given the state of fish stocks, there are two areas where we expect growth, what we call blue growth. The first one is increased aquaculture production, and the second is the reduction of waste. By reduction of waste, we mean both increasing the amount of fish that becomes food for human consumption, but also maximizing the use of what we used to call waste for other industries. The percentage of stocks that are fished sustainably has declined from 90% in 1974 to 69% in 2014. This is challenging and particularly alarming in the Mediterranean where that rate is declining even faster. Securing the sustainability of fishery resources is crucial to FAO and to the world. Uh, the recent entry into force of the Port States Measures Agreement is one of the mechanisms that FAO has and the international community have to secure the sustainability of fisheries. In coming years, we're going to have to face the challenge of climate change, adapting and helping societies that depend on fisheries adapt to the new situation.